Wendy, Peter, thanks for joining me. This is a huge announcement. Hopefully this is a mechanism when there are big problems, we can literally launch one of these competitions that provides a structure for innovators and engineers to come up with ideas and test them and, and take them to market. Well, I know you've done this with, with space travel, you've done it with gene mapping, fuel efficiency, now you're taking on the oil spill. And you know inevitably you'll be asked, uh, why now, 101 days in? Uh, is this going to help in future disasters or will you be able to apply what, what we learn here to what we're seeing in the Gulf right now? Our focus is future disasters and, you know, Wendy, it's part of your motivation for this. I got involved with this challenge because I felt it was the most constructive thing that I could do to address the considerable anguish. I think we're all suffering watching what's gone on in the Gulf, uh, in addition to the considerable personal losses. And we've seen a uh, disaster here, a natural disaster, that's not of natural origin. This potentially didn't have a solution for a while, if you recall. We thought this might go on and on and on without ending. And we don't really understand things that don't go on without ending. We, we need our supermen to come and bend steel. That's not reality. What we have today is a, is a problem that is a legacy of the energy infrastructure of a century ago. And as I am working to, to advance uh, clean green technologies and clean energy, this is what we've inherited. And we have a responsibility to clean up the mess that we're making in someone else's house. It's been fascinating to sort of watch the whole spectrum of, of folks out there come up with ideas. I, I was down in the Gulf on those barges that literally vacuumed up the oil, and you wondered how can one vacuum make a difference, but when you see them sort of add in, in numbers, you can see that it actually does work. Uh, are you encouraged by sort of the, the ingenuity, the Cajun ingenuity that you've seen already, and what are you hoping to inevitably see by the end of this competition? These solutions have gone without funding. That's the reason for the prize. I, I come from Silicon Valley and, and a culture of venture investment, which is how technology and communications have changed in my lifetime, from computers the size of buildings to the little devices we carry around and search for anything we need to know in any language on. So this, this field is ripe for this kind of investment. Peter, you've seen this already, though, the sort of ingenuity, the emails, I'm sure the ideas that have come your way. Have you been sort of taken aback by, by what people have come up with already? It really is. Uh, the chance for real innovation where we're going out to the world, anybody around the planet, and saying, if you've got a great idea, register to compete for this competition. Because we're going to give people an equal platform to compete their technologies and actually measure who has the best concept. You know, sometimes a really radical breakthrough, the day before it's a breakthrough, it's a crazy idea. Last question here. We've had so many viewers write into World News here with their own uh, seemingly simple ideas. What would you say to all the viewers who sort of click on and hear that, that, that you're interested? Uh, bring it on. <laughs> bring it on. You know, what's so exciting about these challenges is that they're not elimination competitions. There are many solutions, not just one, and we'd like to see all of them come, up, come forward. Please uh, come to our website. It's uh, iprizecleanoceans.org uh, or xprize.org and register. No one wants to see this sort of disaster again, but uh, glad to hear that you're putting great minds together with this competition. Sure do appreciate it. Pleasure. Thank you.